Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. We are about to start. We are going to start in two minutes, okay? Okay. Good. Right, I think it's time we can get started. Hello, how's everything? How's everything, guys? I can see Yanira, Robert. I also see Christian, Fatima, David. Do you guys listen to me? Hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Well, class, welcome to your first session. It's time. I think it's what? Let's see. It's 701. So basically, we can get started. So how was your day? Tell me, how was your day? You are talking to me? Yeah, you can answer. Yeah. How was your okay. day, Robert? Okay, it was a very good day. Today we were starting the week. Uh, today is, of course, it's Monday. I forget I'm a little bit lost, honestly. Yeah, it's, because, it's yeah. Monday. Uh, yeah, it was a good day. And I feel good and, and glad because I'm going to be starting this module. So I think it's going to be uh more i think gonna be more uh, like I, I i couldn't say that it's gonna be uh, like interesting because we are uh, we are still in beginners level but i feel glad and i i want to thank you because i you you i i feel you are you are like a funny person and I, and I like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can learn together. And thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, and then we're going to get started, Robert. Yeah, it's Monday. It's Monday. And it's the first day of the week. And we, you know, we got to be with this very positive attitude. Welcome, class. I can see that our 13 students connected. And it's good to have you here. And we're going to get started. But I would like to see if, if uh, you guys can listen to me like Let's do something. Send me on the chat. No, just say something like, hi, hello. If you are listening to me, I want to make sure you guys all understand and you guys all hear me very well. So just let's make this really quick exercise. Send a hi or hello on the, on the chat, on the meeting chat, please, everybody. Just send like hi, send on the chat or say say something. And I want to, I really want to make sure you guys listen to me. I, as of now, I have only listened to Robert and I want to know, and I want to be really sure that you guys listen to me. Let's see. 
I haven't received any any message yet. Maybe that's because I don't have what good connectivity, or is that that maybe you haven't sent anything? No messages on my meeting chat. Come on, send say something. There you go, Alfredo. Thank you so much. You got it. Thank you. So Alfredo is the only one. Jocelyn is also here. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you so much. I only have two students. Wow. What about the other ones? Okay, I have some mother. Hello, Janita. Welcome, Robert. Present. He's saying it. Okay, good. So and what about the other ones? Let's see. Hi, David. Welcome. Hello, Fatima. No, hello. Hello, Sonia. Hi, Judy. Nice. I, now I have more messages. Uh, Ana Maria, good, thank you so much. Let's see who else is going to send more messages. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I have received one, two, three, there's another one, good, well there. Well, thank you so much, class, for uh, you know being here. I really want to start by congratulating you for being here on time. And thank you so much for your messages. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, Selena, for your messages, okay? So let's see um, some other things, reminders, okay? These are in Spanish, but I need, I, need to, I need to make sure you guys understand this, okay? So let's see, any volunteer like to go over this uh, really quick? Anybody who wants to just read in Spanish as it is there. Okay, just to you know to make sure. Thank you, okay, appreciate okay. it. I want, I want to do the right. So let's do this. Janita reads the first two paragraphs and then Robert the, the next two ones. So there are four paragraphs. Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Puede adelantar contenido si quiere. Okay, next one. Ya mira, please. Todas. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Instaform semanalmente. Right, thank you. You finished Robert. Robert, material. De apoyo. Okay, the last, the last, the last item. Material de apoyo será compartido al criterio del profesor en formato digital. Okay, so basically we can keep in touch via WhatsApp if it's necessary, okay? But I really want you to practice and also ask questions if you have any. That is really crucial so we can, you know, take advantage of these uh, tools that we have available, okay? So let's see, let's continue. This is important class uh, about uh, evaluations and homework. This is how it is divided, okay? This is the distribution. Just make sure you guys uh, stick to it. You can, um, Maybe continue with the following lessons, but you cannot fall behind. It's not, it's good if you uh, keep like maybe advancing on the next weeks, but it's not good to, you not to fall behind. I don't want anybody to, to be maybe in section number one and we are already working on section number three, just to keep an example, okay? So let's make sure we, we all follow this, right? Semana uno, we're gonna work on section one and section two and so on, okay, section two, and then we move on to section three, semana dos, and we take the midterm, right, the meal, the midterm, which is that test that we're going to be taking in the second week, okay, and the following week, which is week number three, section number four, and the last week, which is going to be around December 10th and on, I think, it's going to be uh, the last section plus the final exam, okay, that's how it is. I think you guys are already familiar with this, right? But then just it's good to remind you about it, okay? Just so we are on the same page, 
Okay, and well, we already mentioned the attendance is 80%. Please keep in mind that you have to be punctual here, right? If it is at seven, you gotta be here at seven, okay? So you don't, well, you're not discounted like any minutes. You have to be here. Even you can connect prior, like in my, like in my case, I connected five minutes earlier. So you can do that if, if you can. You know? If you have any questions before we get started with the class, you can, you know, ask, you, you can, you know, make any questions as you prefer. Okay, so these are some of the things that we have. The, the cam it must be on all the time, like, like now. Some of you don't have the camera on, you have to turn it on. Okay, I wanna see you guys, I want to see you. Uh, the duration, it's 60 minutes, okay? So that's how it is. I don't know if you have questions. Do you have questions? Questions, questions, as of now? I can't, I, want, I just wanna, as something I just want you to do for us, one favor, because I need to print the the module. I don't know if you can share with us the 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 material. The material. Sure, sounds good. Yeah, I can do it. It it is on the platform, but I can also do it. No problem. So I'll do it as soon as I finish this session. Um, it's just. Wait for me until I download it and I can share it with you. So I'm gonna do it tonight. Okay, as soon as it's I the manual. Yeah, yes, I, it's, I, I, it's was, the manual. I was talking about the manual. Yeah, the manual. Yeah, exactly. So it is on the platform, but I'm gonna download it and then I'll send it to you as soon as I can. I'll try to do it tonight. Okay. Because after this class, I have another class and then another class, but then around 10 I'm be I'll be I'll be able to do it. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much for your you know um request. I'll I'll do it for you. Class. Silencio, and then you gotta be muted, right? In case you want to participate, you can raise your hand. Okay, so I know you wanna participate, and that will be, you know, a demo that will show you know, respect to others and to yourself. Okay, so that's how it is. Let me stop sharing. I wanna see if everybody has a camera and so on. Huh? It's interesting. I see a revolver, I see Walter, Christian, Brenda, and Jocelyn. What about uh, the other ones? David, Clara, Zelda, Jamie, Jaime, and the other ones. Is there a problem with your cameras? Teacher, a mí me, me falla un poco más la señal cuando tengo la cámara encendida. A veces se me traba mucho. Entonces, por eso, para escuchar mejor, Y que no tener tanto problema con la señal, mantengo la cámara apagada. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's because of the connectivity. Yeah, I know that. And then let's see, some of you are, it's because you are just living work. Okay, I see. You just need to be, um, what, with the camera, cameras on, that's important. That's one of the requirements that you have to uh, also comply with, okay? So in case you don't have the option to turn the camera on, you need to report it. Report it to me or to, to the chat group so we know the reason as to why you don't have it on, okay? All right, so please make sure you have it on. Whenever some somebody comes in and, and gets into a room, you know, we all have the cameras on. That's how it should be, okay? And then in case I take a picture, I want to send it to Instafor. I want everybody to have the cameras on like that, okay? I know you might be tired. You might be a little bit, I don't know, busy. But, you know, it's just a matter of getting used to Remember, class, that is important. So you are present here. Because if you turn the camera off, I don't know what you're doing. You might be just laying down on your sofa, on your couch, you know, chilling. And I don't know what you're doing. But if you're here, you have the camera on. You can even, like, be taking notes. That's crucial, that's important for you to keep, you know, improving your skills, all right? So let's see, let's continue then. Let's see, um, since it's the first day and I want to hear, I know this is pre-intermediate level, right? So that tells me that you guys speak a little bit of the language already, right? And we're gonna start with this really quick activity before we get started with the topics. I want to hear like um, the majority of you, maybe uh, you guys know each other, but I don't know you guys much, okay? And quick question, were you guys in the same group? 
previous level were all of you in the same group or are do we have new faces in this this new class new score new course guys were you in the same group previously or do we have new faces in this uh, new course Quiero, quiero preguntarle, ¿se, ¿se entiende cómo estoy hablando? ¿Se está hablando bien? ¿Se escucha cortado? ¿Muy rápido? Es, oh, quisiera que me, me dijeran para estar seguro que no estoy hablando solo. You are listening. I listen to you very well. Very well. Okay. Yeah, you are speaking good. Okay, and Robert. Your microphone is working good. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. And what about the other ones? Guys, do you understand? Or is it too fast? Or think I need to slow down or speak clearer? Or just let me know. I want to make sure you guys understand, please. All clear, teacher. It's okay. clear. Good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm glad. I'm glad then. I'm glad to hear that. Well, let's see. Uh, we have this activity because uh, I want to hear a little bit about you. It's the only day that we're going to do this, okay? That's why I need to have a small reference about you. And besides, it helps you to practice your English, okay? So do I have volunteers for this activity? Let's say, let's not take more than a minute because time really flies. I'm going to be stopping you. Let's see how much you can talk about you in a minute. So I'm going to be using my stopwatch here. And then if there aren't any volunteers, I, I will be choosing, okay? But let me get ready with my stopwatch. So this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna give you one minute, Let's try to try to speak as much as you can about you, okay? I brought a very basic example, but uh, this is just me, but then you can like, you, this is basic, honestly, but just to give you an idea. Okay, and then hello everyone, blah, 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 my name, blah, blah, and then I love to this and so on and so forth. And then, um, so you can do it. I'll give you one minute. Let's see, who wants to volunteer? Remember that it's important that you speak the language, okay? So let's see, who wants to start volunteering? I want to be the first one. All right, sounds good. Okay, you can tell us about you, whatever you want to say. So listen up, in case I stop you, it's because it's, your minute is over, okay? Okay. So we give chance to order, all right. One, two, okay. three, go ahead. Okay, hi, my name is Robert Bertrand. I was born in San Vicente. Uh, I'm living in Santiago de Marco, La Paz. I'm working as a sewing worker in a manufacturing factory, and I feel glad learning this, this new foreign language for me. I'm enjoying this um, way that I decide to learn this new language. Uh, I got one song and I live in my mother's song here and I feel I feel I feel I feel good. I have like six sisters. I got only sisters. I don't have any any brother. And yeah, I, I know how to drive motorcycle, how to drive car. I, I like to play the guitar. I like to go to swim. Over here, there is a water park. Time's but... up. Thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate it. I know you have a lot more to talk, okay? I thank you so much for your you know, description. You, well, you mentioned so many things. So you're also a father. You like playing instruments. You are working, and you're doing a good job with your language skills. You speak really good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. We're all done, you know. So let's move on. Let's see. I'm going to stop my stopwatch. I have it right here. I'm not lying. And then um, I need somebody else. Who wants to go next? I'm going to say this, class. I'm going to say this. This, like, space, virtual space, I want to be the one who speaks less, honestly. I want you to speak more and ask questions. Please keep that in mind because I want you to practice your English. And then I know you will practice on the, practice on the platform, but then here is real time. 
life. That's why I want you to speak English with me with the with the with the classmates in the classroom, virtual classroom. Okay, so who wants to go next? Come on. Should I select the next one? I don't think so. Come on. This is the first day. Okay, thank you so much, Diego. That's the addict. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, hi everyone. My name is Diego Rano. I am 26 years old. I love I live in Santa Tecla. Uh, my favorite color is blue. And uh, personally, I love the sports. I go to the gym. I like to lift weight. And I like to, to ride in the in the streets with my friends, with my family. I like the mountain. Um so and also I like to, to rest. Um I like to uh, to play music, uh, the sports, uh, specific the the basket and soccer. I like to play a uh, pool and whatever. Um, so I like to share with my family, and and. Uh, yeah, I like to. All right, thank okay. you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, that's cool. Uh, you you play many activities. You know many activities in your leisure time, which is cool. Nice, nicely done. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, okay. Let's see. One more. One more. Come on. I have heard only boys. What about the girls? Do we have Janira? Thank you, Janira. Go ahead, please. Hi, good evening. Um, my name is Isabel. I am 29 years old. I live in Tecoluca, San Vicente. My favorite color is black. And my hobby is listen to music. De preferencia rock. And I love it. Go to the beach and see a food. Como I se me ha olvidado como es right, right. A motorcycle? Yes, we a motorcycle. Okay, it's, it's all. <laughs> okay, you have still some time, le some time left, but it's fine. Thank you so much, Anira, for sharing. I also love seafood. I like, I, I love it. Since I um, I live near the, you know, the coast, the, the beaches around it, so I can go. It's very, it's very near from where I live, so I love visiting those places too. And well, nice, nice to hear. Anybody from Cincinnati? Nobody from Cincinnati? Nobody, nobody from from around here where I live. You know what I like about the this uh, classrooms, these uh, online classes, is because we can be connected from you know everywhere. Like from San Vicente, from La Union, Salutan, and, and we're here. And that's awesome. You know, I like it. So, anybody else? Nobody wants to share. Come on. Me, me. Okay, Jocelyn, the, you're the last. Okay, we're, we're going to have like maybe one or two more participations. Jocelyn, you're next. Go ahead, Jocelyn. One minute. Jocelyn? Argente. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, my name is Jocelyn. I, I am 20 years old. I live in Los de Colón. My favorite color is black. And there are six people in my family. And there are two sisters. And I like uh, going with my family and spend time with my family and with my friends. 
Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. And the last one is going to be, I think it was Jaime. Did I, did I, sorry? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, Jaime, right. Yeah, go ahead, Jaime. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Jaime. I am 33 years old. I live in El Congo, Santana. My favorite color is green. I like play, I like play football soccer and like visit new place. And only more. All right. Thank you for your participation, Ben. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move on, guys. And once again, I appreciate your participation. If I let's see, we are 2022, including me. Okay, now we're gonna get started with the with the topics. Before I start sharing the screen, I want to know. Let's see. Raise your hand if you have already seen the videos on the platform. Raise your hand virtually if you have already seen the videos. Nobody has. Okay. Um, raise your hand if you know what is the first topic for on the platform. No, no, no yet. Okay. No worries. It's the, it's our first day. Okay. I do encourage you to keep watching the videos, reading the grammar points, the conversations, and then that'll be uh, better so you can bring in questions to the table, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna be sharing the screen so we can, I'm gonna start by showing the platform. I know you guys are familiar with this, but we're gonna, first activity, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the video, then we're gonna discuss some points uh, according to the, the contents for today's class. Let's see. Okay, so this is the first class objective or lesson objective, just FYI for your information. The first section is called, it's a very exciting place. Okay, would you like to say it with me, please? I wanna hear it. Maybe unmute your microphone and say, it's a very exciting place. Unmute your mic, I wanna hear you. So it says, it's a very exciting place. I'm seeing you guys, I can see some of you, you're not saying it, come on, say it with me. It's a very exciting place. It's a very exciting place. Uh -huh. It's a very exciting place. It's a very exciting place. It's a very exciting place. It's a very exciting class. It's a very exciting lesson. It's a very exciting opportunity. It's a very exciting moment. Okay? It's a very exciting. It's a very exciting place. That's the first that's the first section, okay? So what is the objective? Let's see, if you know, just go ahead and, and describe or say what, what you understand when you hear the word adjective, okay? Anybody raise your hand. What is adjective? Raise your hand. What, what do you understand by adjective? One word. Brother, go ahead. Hello, Robert. I'm sorry. What were in the the wrong earphones? So you listen <laughs> to me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I listen to you now. I'm sorry. Yeah, how was the question? Uh, you say I, what what it mean? Uh, what yeah. it adjective means? What is for you, like in one word, or what is your definition of adjectives? What, is, what adjectives. are adjectives? Uh -huh. Adjective is a word that we use to describe a person or object or animal. Awesome. I like it. I like your definition, Robert. Okay. And now we have adverse. We're going to study class on this topic, adverse. But... We're gonna use them with adjectives to intensify or to make emphasis on adjectives, okay? Okay, send me on the chat right now. 
three adjectives. The what, whatever you want to send me. I want to see if you have clear the idea of an adjective. Send it to me, please. Send me on the chat adjectives. I'm going, I'm going to do something really quick. Let's see. I'm gonna do this. If you if you have if you want to if you if you are familiar in how to write, you know, you you do it here, please. Do you see on the screen what I'm doing? I'm sharing a a, a whiteboard, so you can uh, start typing in. If you know how to do it, enter and write three adjectives. I'll give you not much time, maybe three minutes. For a minute. Adjectives. Robert already said what an adjective is. Adjectives. There are many. We start adjectives since basic level. Mm -hmm. If you can't use the, the screen I'm sharing, you can send it on the chat. Like um, like Diego just did, spicy, okay? And then we have friendly, okay? We have two adjectives. Oh, there's one, okay? Alfredo is doing it. Trump. Tranquito. <laughs> is that is that was that tranquil? You can use the the text so it's easier. For example, I'm gonna use the ones the ones that uh I think Diego says spicy, uh friendly. Okay, friendly. Let's see what else do I have here. I have beautiful, happy. Brightman, bitter, big, yeah, chalked. Okay, I see. You have, okay, you wanna say, uh, chopped, like chopped, like this, okay. Big and frightening. What else? Happy, I saw here. Happy, I know that I, I've got, got more than that. Let's see, bitter, humble, yeah, humble is a good one. Slim, beautiful, okay, so I don't Humble, I like humble. Slim too is good. Let's see. Frightening is also nice. Slow. Okay. Awesome. I know you have the idea. That's great. Sad. Cool. It is cool. Is it going? I love is it going, Alfredo. Is it going? Uh, if you are easy going, you have a great personality, you know. And if you see that, is that's because you are easy going. Tired, yes. Why not? Tired. Awesome. Very good. So as you have mentioned, these are adjectives, okay? Today's lesson is focused on adverbs that can be placed before the adjective. So that's the topic for today, okay? And then uh, as of now, just keep that in mind. Keep in mind this adjective that we're gonna be using them in a minute, okay? I know you have the idea. So let's listen together the first, you know, the first uh, conversation, but I really want you to practice it with me, okay? I want you to practice it with me as much as you can. I'm gonna give you some time, right? So here we go. Give me a second while I, while I play it. Just a second, please. Give me a second. Just loading. Hold on. Okay. One second, it's just right here. It's, I'm gonna mute myself so you listen. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. 
Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okie dokie, that's how it is. Now, guys, based on this conversation, we're gonna have, we're gonna do two things. Number one, I want you to help me. I'm, I need somebody who's gonna play the role of Carmen and one who's going to play the role of Eric. Second activity, I want you to identify the adjectives being used here. If you can identify also adverbs, that'll be great. But so we can get started, I want two volunteers to read the same dialogue, okay? That is on the screen right now. I need one boy and one girl. Let's see, come on. Thank you so much, Roberto. That's number one. Who else? One girl? Please participate, it's just an hour. Janira, thank you so much. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So where are you from, Carmen? I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The water, water is great, and there are some fantastic dish, dishes just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It is a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there or something. Okay, thank you so much. Just focus on this word, weather. Weather, weather, reasonable, reasonable, sometime, sometime, sometime. sometime. Now, um, recommendations, okay, about pronunciation. Let's see, try to connect when you have consonants and vowel sounds, okay? That sounds more like connected and sounds more natural and more fluently. Listen to me, please. It's like, uh, this one's, let's see, is it, is it? Is it, is it, is it, is it expensive there? Is it, is it, is it, let, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. So there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a really, there's a connected place. Uh, there's a, let me see some other, you can easily identify those, those uh, linking that I'm pointing out. Let's see, it is not very, that are pretty reasonable, how, how big is, big is, big is, big is, big is. How big is the city? It's a it's a connected, please. It's it's not too big, it's not perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a plan a plan a trip. Plan a trip. When you have consonant plus vowel connected, and it's totally fine. And that's called linking, and it sounds more natural. Okay. So then there might be more, just a tip. The tip is this. So you can write it down and you can put it into practice. Okay. Consonant, consonant. Plus vowel. Okay. If you identify this in a text, link it. You know, most of the time that'll that'll sound better. Just if, just you know, like a like a quick tip. Um, okay, now that's the first the first uh, uh, participation. I need one more, one more, two other people, okay, one boy and one girl. One more, but but please let's hurry up because there are there is a lot more to, to, to do on this. Alfredo, thank you so much, Alfredo. One more, please. Fatima, thank you so much. That's the attitude, okay? Three, two, one, go, Fatima. Oh, where are you from, Carmen? I am from, I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I live here, that's a really nice city. Yeah, it, the world is great, and there are some fantastic beach just outside the city. It is expensive, George. No, it's not very expensive. Price are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's it a fairly big city, but it's not too big. 
is unknown perfect to me. Maybe as children plan a trip there sometime. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, uh, and Fatima. Well, sounds good. Just something really quick before we move on. Listen to me, please. I want you to exaggerate when you when you say the word Puerto Rico. Say Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, because uh, this is uh, English, and therefore it must sounds like Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Say it with me, please. Puerto Rico. Say it. Puerto Rico. I want I want to hear it. If you can unmute yourself to it. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, maybe a gringo wouldn't say that. An American wouldn't say Puerto Rico. An American would say Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. And then uh, this word, I love this one. Fantastic, exaggerated, please. Hey, how are you doing, Fatima? Fantastic, fantastic, okay. Hey, Alfredo, how's it going? Fantastic, you know, I like it. Fantastic, say it, fantastic, fantastic. And then one more thing, this one. Beach, which is one, but then if it's more than one, it's beaches. Cheers, 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 cheers. Plural, plural form, plural, cheers, cheers. Like this sound, cheers, beaches, cheers. Like washes, beaches. Okay, cheers, fixes, this, this, this. That's the sound, beaches, plural. And that's it. Questions before we move on. Any questions? Do you know any meaning or pronunciation before we move, before we move on to the next activity? Questions, class? Are we okay with this with this uh, first conversation? No questions? All right. No. no answers then. Let's see. What about in this conversation? I want you to open your microphone and tell me what are those ideas that you see or you heard from this conversation? I can see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see again. I can see one if the first one is nice. And the next one is great. The Yuka one that is fantastic. Nice. Uh, that one is ex expensive. The, the, then we got reasonable. Yeah. Exactly. Then, then we got then we got fairly big. I think that may be that might be one attitude. Fairly, yes. fairly big. Fairly, fairly right. Nice. I heard nice. Okay, yeah. There are some yeah, other perfect. Yeah, good. What more? What, what are some others? Now let's take a look at this one because of time. When we have the word fairly pretty. Somebody said fairly, right? I don't hear, I don't see it. Oh, there, there it is. And then pretty, fairly, and then let's see what are, what are some others here. Well, let's work with these two ones, only with these two ones. Really, maybe really as well. Okay, what happened to this one? As you can see, really, I can say, hey, Robert, you know, your car is nice. Hey, Robert, your, your motorcycle, it's nice. But what happened when I say, hey, Robert, the motorcycle is really nice. <clears throat> it's different, right? So I can say, hey, you know what? Um, that, that, what? That price is reasonable, right? affordable. But if I say that price of that motorcycle is pretty reasonable. So as you can see, it's not the same. I'm changing the meaning, right? So if I say, you know, that, like the example here, it's fairly big city. It's not the same if I say it's a big city. So what is the point in this uh, structure? The point is to emphasize the adjectives, okay? We're gonna study in a minute, you know, how they are categorized, okay? Because that's crucial. So we can clearly understand, you know, the meaning of each of them. So, but that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. Hi, man. Yes, it's it's a fairly big. It's emphasis on fairly. A fairly big is em emphasizing in big. Big. Exactly. Fairly big. Fairly big. Fairly big. So, 
Do you remember the adjective you said, like very happy? Let's just, there were some other expensive, sad, frightening, you said some other, I don't remember, but you made a list of adjectives, right? And then, uh, well, you can make that emphasis that we're talking about by adding these adverbs, okay? That would be totally fine. Let's move on, let's move on. I want to now do something. Uh, let's see, give me just a second. And just a second, please, I'm gonna share another, okay. Maybe you have seen or you haven't seen this. I want you to, where is it? Here it is. Okay. And maybe you can write them down, okay? Because we're gonna work on adverbs and specifically the ones that are that I have on my right. I don't know if you have if you see it on the right or on the left, but then adverbs is there's a column that says extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat. These are the ones that we need to focus on. Do you, did you already know them? Do you, do, you, do you know they exist? Maybe it's a yes, but then are you able to use them in sentences? That's the question, okay? So uh, first of all, I want to make sure you guys understand it and know how to read them, how to pronounce them. I need one volunteer to read the advert column here. One volunteer, maybe one who hasn't participated. Who wants to read the adverse? Jaime, thank you so much. Yes, only adverse. That is correct. Extremely, very, really, really, fairly, somewhat. Nice, yeah, nice. Clear, clear, clear enough, okay? Okay, perfect. So these are the ones that we're gonna be working on. Class, focus on the same things that we have because you're gonna create it in a minute some exercise just to demonstrate you have understood. How is it yours? San Juan, San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. See how it is used? Really nice, really nice. This is how it is used. It's just before the, ad, the, the adjective. Fairly big, fairly big. That's how it is, how it is placed in the sentence. It's not very expensive, very expensive. And then we have two quick question. Does anybody, or do you know, when do we use, or when we use two as, a, as an adverb? This one, two. When do we use it? Listen to this example. Maybe that, that, that'll give you a little bit of a clearer idea. If I say, um, Jaime, this is too expensive. I think uh, I won't be able to buy it. Yes, that's one idea. Hey, uh, that is too too easy for me, you know, too easy. That is, oh, the test was too difficult. So when I add two to the adjective, it's being modified, of course, but, but my question is, is it being modified in a positive or in a negative way? What do you think? It, it depends in the context that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you can describe a negative uh, situation, you can use it was too awful situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Can you can help me if mm -hmm. that's right or mm -hmm. if okay. not, if it does work like that. But okay. I think you, you was asking before uh, if this is a, when do we gotta use or why do we use this, this advert? Mm -hmm. We usually cool. use it to describe a noun. I, I am seeing, I am watching right now here, because describing it, it is describing the noise. It's mm -hmm. giving a, like um, a new. Uh, it's a very huge expression when you put that before a noun, or a, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
if I say this class is too too easy, what do you understand? That is yeah. that is like something uh good or bad. Mm -hmm. In a, I mean a good way, no. I can say in a good way. Yeah. Like you say, you are mm -hmm. describing something in this in this case you are describing a situation. The class is too easy. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you are describing the class as like as a uh, easy. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me like let that. me let me let me explain uh, this like like this following scenario. Whenever you use tool class, this is for, this is for everyone. When we know we use to it's because we give more like a negative connotation to the to the sentence. So to make it more negative. So the meaning you are adding to the to the adjective is more like negative. So in that case, if it's, if I want to say too easy, it's because I'm I might not be happy about it. I might be in a in a different level. Hey, you know what, Robert? This class is too easy. Come on, this is, I should be in, you know in advance. So maybe I'm not happy. From it's negative. Hey, this is too expensive. And I don't have money for money. So for me, like for me, it's not something positive. So, like as a matter of conclusion, two gives more like a negative you know, connotation. So it's recommended to use two when you, you know give this negative meaning to the sentence. Okay. Let's keep that in mind because this is how it is uh used. Okay. So with that in mind, let's move on. Let's move on. We're gonna have give, I'm gonna give you some time for you to. Let's see, next one. Well, just analyze this. Let's analyze this, this example. Her car is very expensive. Very. My brother is very tall. Expensive and tall. So we have here, very. Before that adjective. We have already mentioned it, how it is used, right? Now, it's not the same class. It's not the same to say her car is expensive. Then if I say her car is very expensive. So if I say the car is expensive, it might be $1,000. We're not just an example. We know that a car is not, is not, not $1,000. Of course, it's more than that. But then, but if I say, hey, you know what, Alfredo? You know what? Her car is very expensive. You imagine, wow, well, that might be a lot of money, you know, because it's very expensive. You see? You see what I'm talking about? So that's how it is. Now, uh, maybe you want to write this down or take a picture or like, I don't know what you're going to do that take or a screenshot, but then this is important. What you're looking at at the moment is important. Why? Because this gives us an idea and how to use them correctly. All of them are emphasizing the adjective because that's the mission to make emphasis on it, right? But then how you use it is the, that will depend on your opinion about it. But this is how it is used. If you say extremely, it means what? Well, that's the top, you know, extremely. That's, that's in the levels that will be the top. Very is our second level. So if you're not that convinced, you might say very, but if you're like, that's that's something you know tremendous, that's something insane. You want to say extremely, right? Really, like almost really inferior, really uh, almost in the middle, fairly, you know, more, it's okay, fairly, you know. And so what is the last option? Because the emphasis made is still, you know, it's not as big as it would be if you use extremely. So my advice, class, is to, to screenshot this and also um, try to learn these levels, okay? I'm going to give you one minute because I, for me, this is important. And, and so, so it should be for you. Let's take a picture of this and learn it this way. I'll give you one minute in case you want to write it down or you want to a screenshot and if you have questions just go ahead and ask don't don't take it for yourself don't keep it for yourself questions class raise your hand please ask that'll be good that'll be great remember that there, that there are no there are no wrong questions i got, I got one question uh-huh what somewhat means 
somewhat, somewhat. Do you, you want to hear the Spanish or because I if, if we want if 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 we translate somewhat, it's like uh, literally it will be like de alguna manera. That will depend. That will depend honestly, but then um, that will be one translation for that. But then I wouldn't like you to translate it. I would like you to know that if you somewhat, it's because it's because you are you're making an emphasis. But the emphasis you're making it will be um, not that big. It will be just you know to make a, a weak emphasis on it. Okay, all right. Anybody else? Anybody else? So if I say, uh, Robert, you know, the, the class is somewhat interested, somewhat interested, will be like, algo, un poco, interested, but not much, you know, or de algún modo, de alguna manera, un poco, un tanto. All right? So that's how it, how it is. That's how it works. Now, um, well, let's move on. Hope you already got the. What well, this is the one. This is what I mentioned already. To once again, usually use it in negative adjectives to make something mm -mm, that you don't feel happy. With. So make more negative meaning the to. Okay, this was already explained. Maybe use it with more with negative connotations. Okay, and then uh, this is the time that I like the most. I'm gonna give you, uh, we have five minutes left approximately. I want you to please uh, create one sentence. It says great sentence because it's actually more than one. Choose two of the previous adjectives and then create one, send it to the chat. I'm gonna be reading them, okay? Please, let's do it because we don't have much time. Our, our, lesson, our first lesson is almost over. So I have 20 students, 22 students. I want to see 21, 21, like 21, because it's 22 with me, 21 um, participations, okay? Create your sentence. If you don't want to write it down, open your microphone and participate, like verbally. Okay, I have four minutes left and there's one. Entertaining, nice. I like it, you know, I like to read that, Robert. And if, if, if that's the way you think, you know, that's good because entertaining is something that you enjoy doing. Okay, what else? Only Robert, I wanna see 23 sentences. Plus 23 times two, that's 46. I have three more minutes. While you are writing your, your sentences, which I hope you're doing, I want to remind you about the platform. Please start working on that, start checking on the exercises, watch the videos one more time, listen to the conversation, and that's gonna be useful enough, you know, for you to keep practicing. But please do it, do it, okay? And tomorrow, the ones who didn't turn the cameras on, please do it. I'm gonna have, uh, you know, I'll make sure you guys participate because I want to hear everybody. I wanna hear everybody speaking the language. It says, I only have, let's see, I only have uh, one more. I have a very big TV, that's big, Jaime. My new dog is very faster. Only fast, uh, Diego. Only fast. Faster is a comparative. So only say my is very fast. 
My blood is very funny. Okay. Okay. What others? Hmm. I'm going to be writing down the names of the ones who participate, you know, because I want everybody to participate. If you don't understand, just let me know, because that's important, extremely important. Okay. What else? Okay, then class, that's going to be it for today. And then please be on time tomorrow and keep practicing and check on the platform. Okay, remember, we learned every single day. It's a matter of practicing. And the more you practice, the better it is and the more confident you'll feel to speak the language, okay? Just wanna finish the class by reading the last, the last sentences here. I have here, uh, the flowers are, because his flowers are beautiful. His dog is incredibly loyal. You have incredibly another another Albert. That's good. The milk is very hot. My family is very important for me. Nice. The food is a little salty. A little is the Albert. Okay, cool. Okay. So guys, it's been a pleasure. At first class, please participate and, and keep you know smiling and drink water. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. See ya.